Hello, I'm here to give you a tip on the DDI Phantom, specifically on the Gropner EPROP. So I was trying to reduce the jello effect uh, even more from the, the GoPro, and what I did was I bought some Gropner EPROPs, the 8x5, which have two advantages. So one is that they're slightly different profile and bigger, but only slightly bigger, but different profile definitely, from the original props, and the second is that they're a bit harder. So you see that here you don't have a lot of flexibility, while here there's a lot. The only problem, which I hadn't seen, is that the Gropners, where you put the axis of the rotor, it has a lower profile. You see that there's a difference here in profile, versus the original. What happens is when you mount them on the rotor, the original ones, you can see that you have the screw and where is the stop of the rotor, it's way down there. So when you put on the nut of the rotor, it can actually push the prop down, so it locks the prop into place. And I know I'm not doing it with the wrench, but it's just now for the video. When you put the Gropners in, since the profile of this hub is lower, you see that the metal of the bottom, the stop of the screw, is actually the same at the same uh, height as the other one. So when you try to lock it down with the, the nut, it still has flexibility. So, I mean, it can still sort of go around. And I know I'm not locking this in. The problem is, if you... Cr ah, and the other thing about the Gropners, to be careful, is they don't have the indentation. They don't have, like, the little indents that lock onto the rotor. So, if you want, you can hold the rotor in place and go like this, which you cannot with the props. What happened to me was that I crashed, so the prop stopped and the original nut just went flying off. So now I only have three nuts, original nuts. I went to a local hobby store, uh, not hobby, like um, uh, a place where you buy tools and uh, screws and everything, like a sort of drugstore, and they had two things available for me. One were these M6 domed nuts, which aren't very good because as you can see they have a smaller circumference than the original nuts so they're even worse to lock the Gropners into place and then what they showed me was these M6 nuts with nylock the nylock is really good because it sort of doesn't let them come off in the case of a crash. But that still didn't fix my, my problem with the profile. So what I did was try two things. One was a metal washer, which I don't like very much because it first is pretty big adding weight to the rotor. And also it's hard so it can damage the aluminium of the rotor. And then these washers, which are rubber washers, you can see here they're flexible. Uh, which normally are used for the showers, so like if you screw on a shower hose. And I tried that with the Gropners, so I put them before, and that way it also protects the rotor, as you can see, and adds that sort of small height that I need. And afterwards I put the M6 nut with the nylock. It's harder to get on, so you can't get it on only with uh, your hand, you really need a wrench. Let me just put this down a second while I wrench on the bolt. And you can see how it looks afterwards. So you have the washer compressing, but since it's rubber, it's actually protecting both the prop and the rotor and the nylock, which is really difficult to come off. Um, and this has been helping me have the Gropners on and ensuring that they don't come off. And that's my tip for the DJI Phantom.